If you had all the fame and all the money, would you fight for everything you ever wanted at all moments? Would you fight for it or would you let it slip into a minor? Quote, Kush2024. I swear to God, at this point, I highly encourage YouTube when they start giving out platters for it to say, congratulations for not slipping it into a minor and congrats on the 100,000 subscribers. Because it's an accomplishment at this point if any YouTuber doesn't slip into a minor. Now, I know in the last video, I said I'm not going to be talking about Mr. Ava anymore, but new evidence has come around that if uh, in the past things that Mr. Ava has been alleged and confirmed of doing, if some people thought, oh my God, that's disgusting, but doesn't deserve jail. Some people said, oh no, he she they them this donkey deserves to go to jail this is illegal that debate is over because with this new evidence that has come to hand 100% Mr. Ava needs to be jailed up it is so bad that even Mr. Cupcake has made a comment about this holy shit man so my mother main nigga Chris Tyson um supports child porn he's into that freak ass shit we gotta protect our youth we gotta protect our kids and our goddaughters and our nephews and our nieces and our cousins from weird ass freak motherfuckers like this. You feel me? Having an influence on the kids, on our youth. That's where I got a big problem. You know what I mean? This is like Thanos talking about all the super villains doing horrible things to humans and saying how wrong it is and how it needs to be stopped. Where did Mr. Cupcake even come from? I open Twitter and the first thing I see is him making a commentary channel talking about how wrong it is to tickle ch children. I thought bro was dead. But anyways, back to the whole new evidence that we're here to talk about. This is Nathan. A couple of years ago when he was 15 years old, he was with the boy who was at the time 14, 15 as well, called Lava, the victim in Chris Tyson's situation that we talked about multiple times. A few days ago, he came forward and he shared his side of the story with his experience with Chris Tyson back in when when he was 15 years old a minor in a private chris discord server where chris used to share corn with m minors chris dyson from mr beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while i was about 15 years old i was actually friends with lava gs at the time who is the main victim of chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days who claims he isn't a victim but we all know he is and we all know he probably got paid off not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. Huh? Please end your stream. As well as other technical backend things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. I like to take back whatever I said about Chris on believing that it is not his intent. It was just his humor. It was a fucked up creepy thing to do, but it was just his humor. It is no humor, my friend. Now it is full on criminal intention type of shit because if a adult sends corn videos to a minor you do have intentions it also makes a lot of sense if lava took a huge chunk of money to stay silent because if lava confirms all these things that happened well mr ava will not have time to go and focus on mental health and family he will be straight gone to jail now if you focus at the beginning of the video nathan shared a screenshot of chris shouting him out so this proves that nathan indeed was friends with chris when he was 15 years old and he used to work for him and he claims that lava was under an nda working for mr beast and he tried to bring nathan into the whole thing and nathan knew that by signing this nda they're just trying to silence me so he said no to the whole contract basically now if you know your ndas when a crime is committed like the situation sending links of corn to minors 
you can break the NDA and you can't talk to law enforcement. It is completely acceptable. And if you're underage and you sign an NDA, it is a 50-50 situation because if you get to a legal age while you're still under NDA, you can break that NDA law and you can just get away with it with whatever it is. So claiming that Lava is still under NDA and that's the reason he's not speaking about the whole situation is completely wrong or maybe Lava doesn't know his NDAs. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners, and he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images, corn images, um, alongside all these 15 year olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the coolest person in the world. So. They couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes. But looking back, I was definitely uncomfortable uh, at being called daddy by a 20 year old. Um, and it, even just thinking about it now, it's just uncomfortable. This server later went public and became his official Discord server. But before it did, he had me and Lava spend multiple days scrubbing this Discord server clean of all of the N words he had sent in it, as well as his friends, as well as deleting the NSFW channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming corn to minors. This story is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize. So if you want to hear more and you want a part two. And Lava responded to everyone regarding Nathan's claim saying, yes, I know him. A lot of the statements he made in that video about me are un completely untrue. I was friends with him. We played games together and worked on Discord. He was later removed from Discord because he was how unstable he was. He would lash out and verbally attack other members of the team. I never sent any contract and has not been on, the, on any NDA since 2022. I have not received any payment or are any of my socials monetized. I did inform him that he might be offered a job to help work in a Minecraft video around the time I was. But this never happened. We did not scrub Discord clean of, you know, discussing things. We did convert the Discord from a private one to a public in a, in a day. We also had never done unpaid work at no point, blah, blah, blah. Nathan has since deleted the Discord messages because me and him, he also deleted his original Discord account. Nathan was more involved with Jake the Viking. Now, the reason I haven't made this video two, three days ago is because Nathan pulled a TikTok move, like and subscribe for part two, leaving everyone hanging. Now, some people didn't believe Nathan. They believed there wasn't enough evidence to cover up his claims. He's just lying. He wants attention and blah, blah, blah. But majority of people, they were backing Nathan up because the second Nathan said that Chris used to call me dad and daddy, everyone was like, yep. That's Chris. I, I know. That's him. And just a few hours ago, he came forward with some spicy, spicy evidence. So buckle up and let's go through the evidence. This is part two to yesterday's video of me talking about Ava Chris Tyson and what they did to me when I was 15 years old. This video has all the proof in it, all the receipts and all the screenshots. Thanks to an old friend of mine who was a moderator in Chris's Discord server at the time, Cookie. Now, Cookie actually went ahead and downloaded logs of all the individual channels on Chris's server before it went public, knowing that this was kind of being covered up and he kept the logs of it for himself. He actually reached out to me here on Twitter and I'm gonna provide a lot of the screenshots backing up the claims that I made that Lava refuted. For example, I made a claim that there was an NSFW channel in the server where Chris would spam corn. Here you can see Chris talking about locking down the NSFW channel to true gods and anointed only. Um, by the way, this is in 2019, I was a true god and I was a minor. Not only that, but you can see me right below it, Nathan.RTX saying, this is a bad idea. So even I knew as a kid that this was a really bad idea. Here is Lava himself talking about starting the commencement of cleaning the server, word for word. I said he was talking about scrubbing the server. He says that never happened. Here you can see him talking about it as well as me and uh, Cookie himself talking about it. I just want to make this video real quick, uh, disproving some of the claims that Lava refuted uh, and showing that they actually are true. But I actually have thousands of Discord messages to go through in these logs that I was just provided by Cookie. Shout out to him for giving me them. And I'm going to be going through them and posting an update video with some more 
improve. Now, I'm sorry, Nathan. I'm going to steal the spotlight from you. And we are going to go through the part three with before him even dropping it. And we're going to go through all the evidence. Now, thanks to Cookie, we have access to these screenshots. This is a picture of mutual servers. This is the two servers that he was in. Chris private server and Chris servers. And he was also in Mr. Beast and Mr. Beast Gaming Booty Locks. I'm not going to judge you, Cookie. You do you. But since he was in Chris's private server, this is a screenshot that he sh shared. Proving that this shit actually happened in this freaky underage Discord server. Now, this is another screenshot of their private server where they used to animate and chill over there. This person says hentai postings start when. Chris replies, okay, everyone, this chat never happened. Griffin, purge it once this is done. Meaning this will be a deleted search history once you're done watching corn. This is exactly what it means. We can make a separate channel and delete it. Of course, nothing happened here. Not a bad idea. This is where Chris told one of his moderators to make a chat called server secrets and give everyone active here right now permission to join. The server members reply and fire up the hentai archives case because Chris is really to fire up the lotion and get Young King. Oof, hentai, ooh, woo. I'm gonna take a quick piss. I have so much. I'm ready to post LMAO. We about to dump so many trap though worth it and in lava's response against nathan he said we did not scrub the discord clean of racist marks or corn and over here in the screenshot it shows that lava said that commence the cleansing of the discord search every kind of bad word in every known chat delete every instance of it demi mods and one true god one true god being nathan first of all this is absolutely disgusting and a semi apology from chris is not enough in this situation i actually do want to see after reading all these chat logs i do want to see police involved in this and investigate Investigating this whole thing. I hope Mr. Beast's investigator comes up with more evidence in this situation and provides it to the police. And Mr. Beast has the balls to actually press charges against Chris for putting his company and reputation and ruining a portion of his uh, company at this point because they were besties for like such a long time and at this point lava's word don't mean shit nothing comes out of this guy's mouth it is going to be believable because the evidence has been provided and he is in the boogie 2988 category well being the biggest liars in the world and if you still believe that it was not his intent to do anything with these miners it was just his horrible creepy old humor that he grew out of you are a donkey imagine sitting in a discord server private discord server with miners and saying guys masturbation party let's beat it to like uh, the sexy i don't know old underage whatever the cartoon creepy shit the hentai shit that these people were watching at the time without a doubt lava is covering up for chris and if i tell you this is the last video i'll be making about chris i'll be lying to you because from the looks of it, this is just the beginning and more things are going to be revealed and more people are going to be coming with receipts and talking about the situation more. The only way this, you know, this is going to be the last video talking about Mr. Ava is going to be the second he is in handcuffs. And I believe that is how it's supposed to be. 2021 20, years old, there, it's unexcusable. There is no excuse. There is no forgiveness for these type of things. Going in a Discord server and having a mass masturbation party with your <coughs> with your underage members? And some of you might come in the comments and be like, oh, maybe this is all Photoshop, maybe this is all edited. There is the chat log in this situation where Nathan said the full uncensored Ava Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast Discord staff chat logs. But when I click on it, it is just these things. I really don't know how this works. It's just a bunch of codes and chat conversations. I'm honestly too old for this. I don't know how this coding shit works. But if you also think about it, why would they come and lie in the first place? What do they have to gain about this whole situation? There's absolutely no reason for them to come out and lie about this whole situation. Anyways, this was the new update. Shit just went very extremely south. We or, we thought it was already south, but this is the south version of shit going south. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If anything else comes up, I'll keep you updated. I hate doing this, but I have to remind you to like the video, subscribe, algorithm. You know how that shit works. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.